Hey everyone, I'm Kelly Dean Allen, and today we're going to have a look at how to play all of the great classic Billy Duffy riffs from the Cult's 1987 album, Electric. Eleven two or three minute mini tutorials, if you will, covering the main riffs and most of the rhythm parts. Uh, we will not be looking at the bridges and solos in these tutorials, as that would be a, a bit much to try and cram all into one video. Strictly riffs and rhythm parts here. All right then, let's get this show on the road, shall we? With track one, side one, and wildflower. Uh, but first, we're in standard tuning for all of these tutorials, and we've got just a nice uh, ACDC-like crunch on our amp as far as tone goes. Now, you do not want to overdo the gain with Billy Duffy's tone, as you want to be able to hear a lot of these individual notes within a lot of these riffs, and not let them get all washed out with just a ton of distortion. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Billy was using a, a Les Paul during the electric sessions, and not one of those big Gretsch falcon hollow bodies that uh, he often played during this period. So then, a Les Paul bridge pickup, uh, run through Marshall amplification, a JCM 800 if I'm not mistaken, uh, usually with a boost pedal in front, uh, like a tube screamer or some such pedal, with drive on the pedal set to zero and gain on the amp probably set to no more than five or six, just a great standard classic rock tone. Now, there's a lot of power chords riffs going on on this album, but they're interspersed with a lot of individual notes and full chords and double stop work and whatnot. So clarity of notes is very important here. So I'll repeat, do not kill it with too much gain. Uh, regardless, let's get at this. Wildflower. So we're starting with a, a B major bar chord here at the second fret position. Index on two of the A string barring the uh, fourth fret of the D, G, and B string. And you're going to downstroke that four times. Just the four middle strings. Now you may notice on my uh, performance during my riff video, if you check that out, that I'm playing it like this, a three finger bar chord. That's actually wrong. It's, it's the four middle strings. You need to get down to that note there on the B string because it is, is fairly prominent. And I didn't really hear it the first time. So four downstrokes. On the second downstroke, you're going to lift your index finger off to the open A string and then replace it for the final two downstrokes. And you're going to repeat that ten times. Four times for the intro, four times once the band joins the guitar, and then two more times when the vocals come in. And when the vocals come in for the first verse, hey you... Now we're going to jump up here to a more traditional uh, power chord, a D power chord at the 5th fret position, index on 5 of the A, pinky and ring on 7 of the D and the G, and we're going to do the same picking pattern, 4 downstrokes, this entire uh, song, this entire riff is all played with downstrokes, 4 downstrokes, but 3 strings this time, just the A, the D, and the G string. And on the second downstroke, instead of lifting your index off like we did back here in B, we're going to lift the other two fingers off and replace them for the final two downstrokes. And then we're going to move up to an E power chord at the neck position, second fret of the A and the D, and do the same thing. Four downstrokes, lift off on the second downstroke and replace for the final two downstrokes. And then back to B. Twice. And then uh, we're going to continue that pattern, that uh, B to D to E, uh, I think four times. Now, the fourth time changes a little bit. We go back to B twice, up to D, and this time, the fourth time, we're just going to go into an E power chord and let it ring, and then back into B twice. And now we're into the chorus, and the chorus is the exact same right hand picking technique, four down strokes, and we're going to go from E to A to B, lifting off on the second down stroke. B, E, A, and 
that's the end of the first chorus. The first chorus is kind of cut in half. It's a little bit shorter, a little abbreviated. And now we're back into B and the main riff. Ready to move into the second verse. And that is it for Wildflower and uh, barring any solos and bridges and whatnot that the song contains, but we're not worried about those because we're not covering those. This is all about the riffs and rhythm parts. And uh, so let's move on to track two and track two is Peace Dog. All right, peace dog. Pretty simple riff, two chords. Uh, we're starting uh, F sharp power chord, three finger power chord here, index on two of the uh, low E, pinky and ring on four of the A and the D. We're gonna start with our index off and we're gonna hammer those two notes on the fourth fret of the uh, A and D along with the open E string. And then we're gonna hammer on our index finger to that second fret of the low E. And then we're gonna hammer the full power chord and kill it. Just like that. And then we're going to move the whole thing down to B. Do the exact same thing. Back up to F sharp. Back down to B. This time, the second time, when you move down to B, you're not going to hit it again and kill it. You're going to just hammer on and let it ring. Just like that. So, from the beginning. Kill it. In B. Back to F sharp. Now hammer on and let it ring. One more time. And then the vocals come in pretty quickly in this one. And uh, so the verses are just more of that. Then you run through it again. Now you're going to jump up here to a C sharp power chord and then quickly to an A power chord. And then back to the main riff again. But now you're going to start chugging along on the, the root note. To the chorus and the chorus is uh, it's pretty simple it's just three power chords F sharp E power chord into B That's it for Peace Dog. Uh, there are, there's a little lead line. I said I wasn't going to be covering any lead lines here, but there's a little lead line that he repeats during the uh, chorus in Peace Dog, and I'm going to show it to you. It goes something like this. So that is uh, a little slide into four of the uh, D string down to down to two of the G and then back to four of the D. Now we're going to go off to the two of the D and then grab the four of the uh, G string, give it a little bend release off to two. And then you're going to pick that note one more time, jump up here to the fifth fret of the B string, give it a bend release, pick it when you release it. Now we're going to grab the 4th uh, fret of the G and give it a full step bend. And then grab the 5th uh, fret of the B again with our pinky. And while you still have that 4th fret bent, you're going to pick it and release it off to 2. Kind of like this. And you're going to repeat that 3 times. And then the last time, uh, it starts the same, and he finishes like that. Uh, 
And that is it for Peace Dog. Let's move on to track three. And track three is one of the more famous riffs on this album, Little Devil. All right, Little Devil. <laughs> So we're starting uh, in D. This one's in D. We're not using a full D shape. We're just kind of using a D double stop. Open D string and the second fret of the G string. Downstroke twice. Both notes together. And now we're going to grab some single notes. Third fret of the D and then a double hit on four of the D. Back to the double stop for a double hit. And now we're going to grab the 3rd fret of the uh, D string again. Back to the double stop, up to the 3rd fret of the A. Back to a double hit of the double stop. Kind of like that. Give that a little waggle, that 4th fret, when you get to it. Give that a little waggle too, that uh, when you get to that C note there at the third fret of the A. Now, the second time you run through that little pattern, uh, you're going to uh, only hit that double stop once, coming off this C note here, this third fret of the A. Something like this. Twice. Once. And then we're into the first verse. First verse, just jump up here to a three finger power chord, a D power chord here at the fifth fret. You're going to downstroke it twice, four times. And kill it. Kill. Kill. Now jump up here to an F power chord, down to a C, and kind of slide it down, back to D. Four more times. F power chord, down to C, back to D. And now we're into the chorus, and the chorus... So the chorus is a full G, down to a C, full G, full C, back into the main double stop riff. However, this time during the chorus, he's going up the first and third time, he's going up to the fourth fret of the D, not the third fret, before jumping up to that uh, C note there. So from C, or from G to C, fourth fret. Now we're going to go to an F major bar chord, down to a C power chord, back into the main riff again. This time we are going to the third fret of the D string on that little lick. Back to G, back to C, fourth fret, and then finally to finish the chorus, F, C, and then back into the main riff. Get on that note there, that, that one right there, you can give that a little tiny bend, that works sometimes as well. Though I don't think he actually is, but it sounds good when you do that. Little, but I don't think he's actually doing that. I think he's going right on to the note. But uh, in my performance, if you checked it out, I'm doing a little bend on that, and it sounds good. But he, I think he's just going right on the note. Anyway, that's it for uh, Little Devil. Let's move on to uh, track four, and track four is Aphrodisiac Jacket. 
All right, aphrodisiac jacket. <laughs> I love this riff. Uh, G, full G chord into an F5. Now this is a bit of a unique little chord. An F5 is not a unique chord, just a power chord is F5. But uh, the way he's playing it here is uh, kind of interesting. Uh, so this is like uh, like an F major chord right there with our uh, middle finger on the second fret of the G string, but we're not using that note. We're going to pull off our uh, middle finger from that note. And so we've got our uh, uh, ring and pinky up here on the threes of the A and the D. And we've got our uh, index finger down here, barring the first fret of the uh, B and the high E. And we've got our index lightly brushed up against the G string to kill that note, to mute that note. So we're only hearing of the A and the D exact same notes actually so it's like octaves and the tip of our index like I said is muting the G string so that's an F5 chord kind of played with an octave of itself so we're going from G F5 into this A power chord then grab the third fret of the uh, A string Jump down to the third fret of the D, off to that double stop that we were using in uh, Little Devil, open D string, and the uh, and the uh, second fret of the G. Well, that's basically power chord, right? You're playing it there. It's a D power chord, same one. downwards tug of that third fret of the D little that works too G F5 and you're going to repeat that I think four times and the last time you're going to go off to an A power chord And then we're into the, uh, the first verse, and this is a lovely little progression as well. That is a D chord minus the high E string, just the D, G, and B. Downstroke that twice. And then we're going to move up to this chord here. We're going to pull our index off that second fret of the G string, drop our middle finger on the third fret of the uh, A. So now we've got uh, open D, open G, and we still have our uh, ring finger here planted on the third fret of the uh, B string. We're going to do a little down, up, down. And now we're going to chromatically move this down to two and then down to one while keeping the open strings going and this uh, ring finger planted on three. D. Now you can play this rather loosely. You don't have to worry about how many times you're, you're hitting each one of these strumming patterns, but it's kind of like this. Two, three, one, two, one. And then after you get down to the one here with your index finger, you're going to go back into a D and then uh, hammer onto that uh, third fret of the D and off to the D chord twice. With, you know, a little downwards tug of that, a little quarter step bend. Now, 
this will be the fourth time leading into the chorus and uh, so instead of going to one this time you're going to go into an a sharp power chord up to an f uh, an f power chord and then we're into the chorus and the chorus is just the opening riff And that is it for Aphrodisiac Jacket. All right, let's move on to track five. And track five is Electric Ocean. All right, Electric Ocean. Two, three, four. Pretty simple little riff this, but uh, effective, like all Billy Duffy riffs. Uh, a power chord. Grabbing the third fret of the A string after the power chord, little downwards tug, and then right back to the power chord. Now we're going to grab the third fret of the low E, give it a little vibrato, right back to the power chord. So the full thing put together. Two, three, four. And now you're going to, uh, after you, you do that little lick uh, twice with a four count in between them, you're going to have another four count and then we're going to go into uh, repeating that and filling in the, uh, the pause where we had the four count with just more of the same. Now normally we'd stop there, have the four count, now we're just going to keep going. Now, but the second time you go down to that power chord, you're going to hit it twice. Once, right there. Twice. Once. And coming up out of that final one, the fourth time you've gone through this little progression, you're going to go into a full G chord and then into a full C chord. And then back into the main riff again. And, uh, and now we've got another four count because this, the vocals have come in. So, when the vocals come in, play that, two, three, four, repeat. The second time you play it, when you repeat it, you're not going up to that third fret of the A, third fret of the E, sorry, uh, that G note there, you're staying on that C note at the third fret of the A. And you're alternating back and forth, so the first time, up to the G note, Staying on the C note. Up to the G note. Again, stay on the C note. And now we're going to go into this little lick. Grabbing the fifth fret of the A, bend, release off to three. And then single note uh, G, single note C, third fret. And then we're into the, back into the other uh, riff where it's all one continuous loop. G, C, second half of the first verse. This again. And now we're into the chorus. And the chorus is just kind of a variation on that with a few slight changes. Kind of goes like this. And you repeat that whole thing twice. So it's off that uh, C note there at the third fret twice from the power chord. One more time. Now you're going to grab the uh, single note at the 3rd fret of the low E and reach your pinky up there to the 5th fret of the A string. Back into that again. And uh, you do that twice. And then back into this riff again. Grabbing the 5, bend, release off to 3 of the A. And then you repeat the whole thing again. And 
that uh, brings you up to the middle of the song at some point where there's a solo, I believe, and a bridge, but uh, we're not covering that. And that's pretty much how you play uh, Electric Ocean. So let's move on to uh, track, I think track six, and it's uh, Bad Fun. All right, Bad Fun. <laughs> little progression there as well. Uh, starting with some pull-offs uh, from the uh, third fret of the G string to open, fifth fret of the G string to open. When you hit the open string you're going to pick it again. Kind of like that. And then you're going to do it off the fifth fret. Third fret first, fifth fret. Now you're going to do that twice and then the third time you're not going to pick it again. You're just going to do straight pull-offs. So kind of like this. And then you just repeat that whole thing for the intro. And then uh, just before the, uh, the first verse starts, we're going to go into this little G minor chord here. Uh, just the D string, G string, and B string. Uh, ring finger here on five of the D, barring the threes of the G and the B. And just kind of lightly brush down through those three strings. And then singing has started, and then uh, there's this little lick here. So it's three, one, three, one of the low E. Three, one of the A. And then there's a pause and then we go into something very similar. So three, one, three, one. Back to three. Down to one of the uh, A string into a C power chord. So that whole progression. Quite aggressive on those. Three, four. into that C power chord and now you're going to do a little down up down and now we're going to do some power chords G to F to G twice and uh, now we're into the second half of the first verse instead of doing a nice little lightly brushed uh, G minor this time we're going to do a full G minor and then back into this and this time he adds a little flavor to it. He goes three, one, three, one, three, one. And then he's going to grab the third fret of the D, slide it into five, and let that ring. And then again. Back into the C, another down, up, down. Power chords again, G, F, G. And then we're into the chorus, and the chorus is just more of this. And that pretty much covers it for bad fun. So uh, let's move on to track seven. And track seven is Johnny. What do we got for track seven? Uh, King Contrary Man. All right, King Contrary Man. Another great riff. <laughs> So, we're starting with an E power chord. Pretty simple. Now we're going to grab the third fret of the low E string and then chromatically go open A, one, two. And then you're going to repeat that three times. Every time you go on that third fret of the low E, you're going to give it a little bit of vibrato. Now we're going to go into an A power chord, hit it twice, grab the third fret of the low E again, back to the A power chord, <clears throat> and then immediately back to the third fret of the low E, and then back into the riff. And 
and that leads us into the uh, first verse and the first verse is just power chords double hits of the uh, E power chord three times back into the A uh, power chord riff and you're gonna repeat that twice and then back into the main riff And that's pretty much it. Uh, there's no chorus in this one, I don't think. It just kind of uh, continues like that right up until the uh, guitar solo mid-song, and uh, which we're not looking at. So uh, that's it for King Contrary Man. Let's move on to uh, track uh, seven, I believe, and um, Love Removal Machine. All right, Love Removal Machine, track eight. <laughs> So we're starting with a D major bar chord here at the fifth fret position, index on five of the A, barring the sevens of the D, G, and B string with your ring finger. You're going to downstroke that, all four middle strings. Now you're going to drop your pinky on the eighth fret of the B string and downstroke it two more times. And then kill it. And now we're going to go back to the bar chord and we're going to bounce our index off that eighth, fr eighth fret twice of the B string. Finishing with our pinky on. So from the beginning. Now we're going to move down to C and start with a quick down, up, down. And then drop our pinky on the sixth fret for two down strokes. Kill it up to a full G chord downstroke three times. So from the beginning. Kill. And uh, you repeat that, I don't know, four times, and then the uh, the vocals come in, and then there's a bit of a pause from, from when you start the riff. So you go in, you start the riff the exact same way, and now you pause and let them sing. And then you move immediately down to C and do the exact same thing. Into G, three times. Back to D. Pause. Back to C. Up to G. And now the full band comes in and you go into the, the whole riff all together. Without the pause. And now we're into the chorus and this is the chorus. So we're starting with a double hit of the third fret of the low E, dropping down to the third fret of the A, and we're gonna go three, four, five, chromatically, bouncing off the open A until we get to that fifth fret. Back to three. Now you're gonna hit that note two more times. Drop down to the third fret of the D and give it a full step index bend release. And then back to the five of the A. Into a C power chord. Up to a G power chord. This time you're going to start on two open A strings, not that third fret of the low E, before the little chromatic run. And that's the end of the chorus, back into the main riff. And that's it for uh, Love Removal Machine. Uh, let's move on to track nine and uh, Born to be Wild. 
All right, and uh, now we have at track uh, nine, Born to be Wild, and uh, this cover, of course. And uh, the way they started, they just started out with a whole lot of chugging on an E power chord. probably already know how to play Born to be Wild, but I'm going to show you anyway. Uh, and then eventually when they finally get into the riff after a whole lot of E power chord chugging, that's the riff for Born to be Wild. E power chord here at the 7th fret position, <clears throat> make sure you uh, you finger it like this or you won't be able to reach up here with your pinky for the, uh, the notes. Uh, index on 7 of the A, middle finger on 9 of the D, going to downstroke that twice. A little, uh, little mute in between. Then you're going to drop your pinky on 11 of the D along with that uh, seventh fret of the A. And then move uh, your pinky up to 12. And let that ring for a little bit and then back into the chugging. And then we're into the chorus, and the chorus is just G, A, E. G, A, E. Four times. And then the last one, you just let it ring out. Back into chugging. And that's Born to be Wild. Pretty simple stuff, that one. But uh, we're not going to spend too much time on that one because, you know, it's a cover. It's not one of the original Billy Duffy riffs. And uh, then we're into track 10, which is uh, Outlaw. All right, then. Outlaw. So we're starting on the third fret of the A string, and we're going to go three, four, five of the A, and then down to a double hit of the third fret of the D. And resolve it back to the fifth fret of the A. And then you're going to repeat that. Now we're going to go off to the third fret of the A, down to five of the D, and you're going to hit that twice, and the second time you hit it, you're going to give it a little half step bend release. Pick it when you release it. Off to the three of the D, up to three of the A. On to the five of the A. Into a double hit of the uh, three of the D. So the whole thing. and a whole lot of power chord work. So we're starting uh, with a C power chord. We're going to go C, D, C, D. The first time you go to D, you're going to hit it twice, all down strokes. And now you're going to go C, D, C, D, C. So the whole thing put together... And now we're going to do the exact same thing from F to G. Back to C to D. Back to F to G. And at this point, uh, it changes a little bit. Now we're going to back it up to an F, off, hit that twice, off to an E power chord. And then jump up here and grab an F power chord at the 8th fret position. And slide out of it. Into this. So we're grabbing, we've got an A power chord uh, going on here. We're starting on the 3rd fret of the A string. Off to a double hit of the power chord, back onto the third fret, that C note there, and then back to the power chord. I'm giving a little downwards tug with those uh, C notes there. And now you're going to play the exact same thing, but kind of in reverse. Starting on the A power chord. And then we're 
we're back in the C, the C to D. Back to F to G. And when you go back to that G for, I think, like the fourth time, that's the second time, that's the fourth time, you're going to jump up here to that F power chord at the eighth fret position again. Back it up to, uh, hit it like three or four times. Back it up to D. Back to C, back to D. And then C, D, C, D. And then back to C. I hope that was clear. Kind of goes like this. From the, uh, about the middle of the first verse. of the power chord work there and that one is is quick and uh, it changes a lot so but uh, i hope i was fairly clear with that one so uh that's it for outlaw let's move on to uh, uh in my opinion the best riff on this album and it's memphis hip shake at track 11. all right memphis hip shake best riff on the album like i said <laughs> and probably the hardest to play. Uh, we're starting with an A power chord, then we're gonna hammer on three to four of the A. On the upstroke, we're gonna grab a, a couple of double stops, uh, part of this A power chord, but just the D and the G string. On the upstroke. Kinda like that. And then you're gonna grab the third fret of the A and pull it off to open A. Kinda like that. And now we're going to grab the 5th fret uh, double stop on the D and the G string with our ring finger on the downstroke, 3 downstrokes, and then you're going to back it up to 4. So you're going to give that 3 downstrokes and then slide it back to 4. And then back to the main riff. But this time you're going to, uh, after you hit those little upstroke uh, double stops, now you're going to grab the 3rd fret of the low E and then back to the power chord and give that a little waggle when you hit it. So the whole thing put together. And now you're gonna repeat. But this time when you go up to the double stops, you're gonna hit it three times. You're gonna slide into seven, not slide back to four. Back to the main riff. So the whole thing put together. And uh, that repeats, I don't know, four times. Uh, or the whole progression, I, I think, repeats twice. And then we're into the first verse, and it's kind of a stop-start. Uh, you do that to, uh, to start the first verse. Basically the same thing we were already doing. Down to the double stop, up, up to the third fret of the low E, back to the power chord. Kill it. And now you're going to do the same thing. But now you're going to kind of double up to finish it up. Going from the uh, third fret, that G note there, back to the power chord twice. Into a D. Into a C. And then we're into this. So we, we're back into the A power chord. We're going to hit that like four times, I think. And the, and the third time, we're going to go off to the open strings and then back onto the power chord. And now again, the, the, when you do it again, you're just going to hit the power chord three times and then finish on the, uh, the G note at the third fret of the low E. Kind of like that. That's first time and then back into the riff. Through 
three, four. Two, three, four. D, C. And that's pretty much it for uh, Memphis Hip. Shake. That's a fun riff to play as well. Uh, well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this uh, video of a uh, walkthrough of all of the tracks from uh, the Cult's Electric. Uh, I certainly hope you found it helpful and, and clear and concise. Uh, you know, we didn't look at any of the solos, but I'm going to look at the solo to a wildflower uh, in the upcoming weeks because that's a great solo. And uh, Anyway, you guys take care of yourselves. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already. That would be awfully nice. Hit that notification bell uh, so you know when I upload something new. I, uh, I certainly hope you're well out there in your little guitar corner of the world, wherever that may be. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.